Hello everyone, and today I'm going to go over some of the new features in iTunes 10, which was released in conjunction with the Apple September Music event yesterday on September 1st, 2010, as well as the new iPod Touch, iPod Nano, and iPod Shuffle. Okay, so iTunes, of course, is what you use to manage music with any iPod or iPhone or iPad. Um, it also manages your movies, your TV shows, podcast books, apps, radio, not radio, um, apps, I already said apps. It manages almost everything you can do with your iPod, or iPhone, or iPad. So, um, let's just get straight into it. I know this video is late, but you'll just have to deal with it, okay? I was really busy. Um, so yeah, this is iTunes 10. Uh, let me just plug in my iPod here real quick, my little iPod shuffle, and one second I'll show up here in the sidebar. While it's doing that, they have a new uh, hybrid view where if it has more than five songs, it will show uh, everything. If it has one song, it shows just the album name. If it has two, it shows the album name and the artist. If it has three, it shows... It's, it, yeah, it shows album name, artist, and the rating. Um, and if it has four, it also does that. And if it has five, you will get uh, the album preview. And if it has more than five, it's the album preview still. So that is the new hybrid feed. Of course, they have the normal one. They have uh, this view with all of them out side by side, and of course they have cover flow for flipping through your music like this. Okay? So, not much is new there, so, whoops. Uh, okay, so not much is new there, so let's get into movies. Movies is pretty much the same, as well as TV shows, podcasts, and radio and the iTunes Store, and the biggest new feature of iTunes 10 is a feature called iTunes Ping, and iTunes Ping is pretty much a uh, Facebook or Twitter for um, iTunes, so you can follow your friends, and your friends can follow you, and you can follow your favorite artists, and you get to see what they buy, what they like, um, they get to see what you like, it's pretty interesting, so, you, uh, so the first time you do it, It'll ask you a whole bunch of questions like, what's your favorite genres, what's your favorite songs, five of mine are pink songs, um, people who you followed, uh, that person's a spammer by the way, um, people who are following you, um, my reviews, people featured, recent activity, all that stuff. So it's really just a full featured like social network for iTunes. Um, so that's ping. Um, syncing with an iPod, of course, each iPod is different and has its own type of sync screen, but the iPod Shuffle on the new iTunes 10 on Mac has a, a new updated look here. I'm pretty sure the other ones have the exact same thing. Um, not much else besides that. Uh, so that's about it. Then, of course, you have Genius. Um, you have to bring over the genius sidebar. You have iTunes DJ and your playlists. So that's about it for the sidebar and all the new i all the new iTunes 10 features. So uh, new little volume slider and on the Mac the uh, action buttons have been moved vertically and if you want to put them back horizontally because you're totally OCD about it then you can just search for videos on how to put them back horizontally. I know it's possible, but I don't really want to do that because it actually takes up more space. So, moving on to home sharing, which is probably my favorite feature of iTunes and what makes it worth using. So, to get home sharing, be sure to uh, authorize your account with iTunes or authorize your computer with iTunes first, rather. And you can do that by going to the Store button uh, on the menu bar on either your Mac or your PC and authorizing this computer. I've already authorized this and my PC, 
So next you need to go to advanced and choose turn on home sharing. It will ask you for your iTunes account name and password and then you just click create home share and done. And now other computers on your network can access your music. So let me just create the home share on my PC real quick and now you can see that I have Gavin's library right there. Um, so now you can see all of my music and my movies and books and not apps apparently. I know you can get apps though, so uh, you can show all items or items not in my library. So as you can see I have three songs by myself that are not in my library on here and a whole bunch of books since I don't have an iPod Touch synced with my Mac since I sync it with my PC. So let's go back to all items. You can click settings and you can choose to automatically transfer new purchases from my PC for music, movies, TV shows, applications, books, whatever you want. I don't automatically do anything. But if I like buy a song on my Mac or rip a CD and I want to put it on my iPod Touch, which is synced with my PC, all I have to do is go into my PC, uh, click on Gavin's Library, which will be my Mac, and I can just click here and choose Items Not My Library, find the songs, and for example, let's just do these three here. You can just do that and then click Import, and it will import them into your library. So now if I go down to here, we have all three songs by me. And if I don't want them anymore, I can just delete them. And they still remain on my PC's library, but it has to refresh to realize that I don't have them on my Mac anymore. So it works both ways, so I could be on my PC and get new music off my Mac, or I could be on my Mac and get new music off my PC. Um, you can also just drag songs directly into new playlists. So if you only sync one playlist with your iPod, like I do with my Shuffle, I can just uh, find a song that I want, like let's say Freeze. Just drag it to iPod Shuffle, let go, and I'll put it in that playlist. Then I can sync my Shuffle, and my Shuffle will have that song. So it's really pretty and pretty much an awesome feature. I can't live without it, at least. And you can really get a lot out of it and it means that you don't have to go into your iTunes music folder find the mp3 file or ACC file or AAC file, I don't know what it's called and copy it over the network. You can just do it straight from iTunes and it copies over all of the track info for it like the artist, the genre, rating, plays, uh, time, name, all that stuff it transfers over with it when you import it into your library. So that is iTunes 10 and home, home sharing, which is not a new feature of iTunes 10. I believe it came with iTunes 9, but it's a really amazing feature. So overall, iTunes 10, it's a lot smoother looking on both the Mac and the PC. We have a new icon, which is blue and ditches the CD because the CDs, because actually CDs are being bought less than iTunes downloads now, and that's kind of amazing for iTunes. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. So if you want to check out more videos of mine, just go up to the top there and click the more videos button, or wherever it is, because YouTube is always changing, and you can watch my other videos, and if you like it, you can subscribe, you can favorite, you can like, you can comment, you can do whatever. And you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.gavinroskamp.com. And my website is gavinroskamp.com. Email address gavin at gavinroskamp.com. And I blog every Sunday at blog.gavinroskamp.com. And I also put random uh, posts on there when I'm feeling in the mood to blog. Um, just a future hint at future stuff. Uh, GTT itself will be under undergoing a lot of changes in a few months or more like in a month but um, I'm just gonna leave it at that and let you guys make conclusions so thanks for watching this video I know it's really long uh, it says 10 minutes and 50 seconds here on my camera um, but that's about it 
iTunes 10 can be downloaded for free at apple.com slash iTunes or iTunes.com. Um, for Mac and PC, you just click the button there, and then you, it'll take you to the page for your computer, and you just download it. So it's pretty awesome. That's just about it for iTunes. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.